crazy. Some people might be happily getting themselves infected with parasitic worms and happily living forever, ever after with the parasite inside them. Well, going back in time, humans have been living with parasitic worms. We found them in ancient Egyptian mummies. We found them in ancient Roman latrines. So we and our immune system have been evolving together with these parasitic worms for a very, very long time until recently, when we move into industri industrialized world, we move ourselves away from virus, bacteria, and parasites but for very good reasons. But what seems to come with this move is we see more people having autoimmune diseases and allergy, and both of them happened when the body immune response overreacts to things that they should ignore, like our body or just pollen. Now, some scientists suggest that the increase of these diseases might be linked to the lack of exposure to microbes and parasites, which are more appropriate targets for the immune responses. Now, this idea is known as the hygiene hypothesis, and although not everyone accepts this hypothesis, it did give birth to a question whether we could then reverse it and use parasitic worms to treat the immune diseases. So, think in the point of views of the worms, their homes is in our gut, before some worms, they are in our blood. And this area are flooded with immune cells surveying and guarding our bodies against infection. So for the worms who survive in this hostile environment, as a master of immune regulator, they did one of the many things they do is their magic trick to damp down these attacking arms of our immune responses. So when we talk about autoimmune diseases and allergy, that's when our immune system overreacts to things that they should ignore, and by doing that, it damages our body in the process. So when we put the worms in the picture, they do what worms do. They damp down the attacking arms of the immune response to keep them safe, and maybe to help us kill the diseases. Well, maybe that's not enough to convince you to have worms living inside your body. And also, essentially, this is just one part of a big picture because our body, our biology and the immune responses are a wonderfully complicated places. So with that, a lot of research is underway to try to find out what our old friends are doing, what tricks they use to be able to replicate those tricks to help us live happily and healthily ever after in the modern world. Thank you.